So I just want to quickly look at this tambourine part. So if I zoom out and select the tambourine audio item, and there's a shortcut here for zoom to selected items. So I can zoom out, select the item, zoom to selected items, and then I'm going to dynamic split. So you can see if the threshold goes up, it's not going to split until the audio at the gate opening and closing goes above the threshold that we set. All the hysteresis back, you can see that at the tail of the tambourine, which is what this is, it's going to cut off before the actual end of the signal because the threshold, the gate is closing and it's above the threshold that we've set. So if we increase the hysteresis or hysteresis, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. We get a, we preserve the tail. And then we can also, we're going to add a leading pad of 100 milliseconds and a trailing pad of 250 milliseconds. So if you keep an eye on this guy here when I split, we actually increase the length of the chunk there. So now what we have, we have our tambourines separated out. So. What happens if we want to shift these a bit, if we feel maybe that they're all a bit early? Uh, which they're not, they're actually fine, but there's possibly one or two, which maybe this one here. You can see maybe that's a bit early. So we could just do that, undo. Uh, we could do that, we could um, tab to transient, cut before and then do that, drag the beginning, the transient onto the grid. We're not going to do that. So actually what I quite like doing here is undo my dynamic split because we are going to dynamic split. But what we'd like to do first is insert stretch markers and I've got custom action, obviously. Uh, move cursor to next transient, which is essentially uh, the tab button will go to the next transient and then add stretch marker. So I'm just saving myself one click. So if I do the longhand version of this, it looks like this. Let me just uh, increase the waveform zoom so you can see. So from here I tab and then it add a stretch marker. Tab, add a stretch marker tab, add a stretch marker. Okay, so that's the kind of longhand version. And then my shortcut for option shift S, so that would look like this. Option shift S, one, okay, so now there's a problem. What's happened is the, we've read a transient, another transient, so now we've got two stretch markers and that's not really the idea. So undo all of that. There is another way. Go to my dynamic split and instead of splitting selected items, write stretch markers to selected items. Okay. So write stretch markers. Now there's another problem. Now I've got a stretch marker on the transient and actually what it is, is it's when the gate opens and when the gate closes. So undo that. I want to take gate opens, gate closes out of the equation and put at transients. Let's try that. Exactly. We've got stretch markers exactly where we want them, which is at the transients. And we haven't got 
more than one stretch marker where we want them to be. Just for argument's sake, let's say what we want to do is now snap the stretch markers in the time selection to the grid. So essentially we're quantizing the stretch markers here. So what I need to do is set the time selection to the whole item and then put my shortcut in. So you can see if I zoom in here, it's gonna snap. Okay, so it's just that one was a bit early. Snap stretch markers in position. That's what it does. So they're all just lining up onto the grid now. The thing to be careful of here is that some instruments, the transient needs to happen a bit before the beat and that's how it's played. So it might be that we want to get everything in line and then possibly alt drag back a bit. Just to be aware of that, some, some instruments, the way that you play them, you're always playing ahead of the beat because actually what the ear is hearing, especially on some percussion stuff, is not necessarily the transient, but you're hearing the, the peak of the signal, which on a tambourine might be more the ring than the actual click. So again, be aware that quantizing can cause more problems than it solves musically. Okay, so now we have all of these parts in time. What I'm gonna do now, is now I'm gonna go back to splitting them. So, deselect at transients. When gate opens, when gate closes, split selected items. And that, remember that we need to remove the silent areas. That's how we're gonna end up with little chunks of audio rather than one long piece of audio just cut up. So remove silent areas, split. So now what we have is we've got a little bit of air before, which is always nice and musical, and then a fade out at the end. 